In this video we will have a look how to access any directory on your Raspberry Pi over a remote computer's browser. I've imaged my Raspberry Pi with the following image connected remotely over SSH and next thing is to check if the node is installed node.js is installed and which command we would need to use to run it because as I recently discovered there's actually two different commands to execute it so originally on the first time I tested it on desktop image I had to run this command and it would return the version of the node but since the node wasn't installed by default on the light version of the image I had to install it manually and in my case I had to run node.js to get it working so first thing to install node if you don't have it installed already is either to use this command or this command and the next thing to install is npm which we will use to install uh, packages, plugins for Node. I already had it installed previously so there's no need for me to install it now and the next thing we can use npm to install HTTP server which we will use later to access any directory over the web browser. I find it quite useful if I need to read through long config files or basically just download any other file on my Raspberry Pi. Super easy, no need to change any permissions in the directories, it's just simple to use. So once the HTTP server is installed, you will need to use the following path to actually run it. So if we go and type sudo node.js and then the path to the plugin. And the server is running. So now if I went to the my Raspberry Pi's IP address on port 8080 I will be presented with the following folder. So basically this is my home folder and as you can see I can browse through all the directories below it and preview or download any files I want. And thanks for watching.